but Paul, I have to say that you know one of the things that's always uh, that I that I love about you and, and and this story is that you keep returning to your own integrity, right? You keep saying, "Here's what I knew about myself, and I was unwilling um, to change." Right? I mean, and that really is an entrepreneurial spirit when you're passionate about something so much so that you'll walk away from X or Y even if somebody else thinks it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, and how you always um, feel a strong connection to those around you. When you're so open to stuff, things just kind of come in and I have always been the yes man, you know, like I'll always just say yes and um, take things on. And so I come and I stumble into this information systems class and it's like, it's a requirement for core and I was like, not really looking forward to it, you know, um, just kind of this random class. And I go in and the professor is Trisha Litz and I'm like, oh, this lady's kind of cool. Like she's got a neat, neat personality. <laughs> just kind of, yes. <laughs> yeah, she's, she just doesn't have many boundaries in a good way, like boundaries for her thoughts. I felt like I could go and tell her about what had recently happened. And what had recently happened was my um, bow tie company was asked to go to the Emmys. And I, that whole thing was serendipitous in the way that it happened um, too. But Trisha, I, I sat down with Trisha at lunch and I was like, oh, this is what happened. Like, I don't even know where to go from here. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to take something on this big and I don't even know if it's possible. She was like, ah. Oh, I know who you need to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> and she started rattling off names. She was like, Abby Schneider, Ken Sagendorf, Jenna Oliver, like all these, you know, all of you guys on the, mm -hmm. on the team now. And I didn't know any of you. And so I was like, okay, cool. Like, let's do it. It's very important in our business school, this vision of ours mm -hmm. um, to help businesses become stewards of society. Yeah. So you were, you were interested in who was producing your ties. You're interested in where the ties come from mm -hmm. and what they represent. Yeah. Um, right. I mean, in this idea of uh, every tie has a story, mm -hmm. a different story. It comes from this recycled material. Yep. Um, not only that it's just super cool looking. Mm -hmm. And so I remember when you shared this story, um, and I just happened to be in a position in my innovation center with the endowment that supports my center mm -hmm. um, to have some resources. Yeah. And I remember just thinking, um, I don't think the money's the right question. Yep. We have a student. Mm -hmm. The student actually has used their experiences to their benefit, um, has the requisite passion of an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. but has the vision of someone who wants to connect with the rest of the world. And now they have an opportunity. And there's nothing better than a university that can say, if a student brings passion and vision mm -hmm. and understanding of a larger picture, yep. and we have the resources, this is exactly who we ought to support. Absolutely, and that's like, that's one of my favorite things about Regis. And the best that we can do is slingshot you out with more velocity into yep. the world. Um, so, you know, that was the play we wanted to make. And, you know, the, the quid pro quo of this is, um, you know, we fund you getting to the Emmys. And by we, I mean the university. Yep. And this is all about, you know, Regis supporting a student business in their success. Um, and, and we kind of said, listen, we'll, we'll pay for this. Um, we don't have any problem with this. We, we asked you some of the fundamental business questions. Mm -hmm. How much inventory do you need before you go <laughs> um, in case you truly blow up the day after? Yeah. Um, right? I mean, that was one of the big questions and that's what we're going to try and, and plan out here in the future months before we get to the Emmys. You know, we're building a space where these ideas and these conversations become much more commonplace. Is when we first met, you shared kind of the story and the roots that you came from. Yeah. Can you share those <laughs> with me again? 